Hello, hello everyone, welcome to another Fallout 76 guide and the Lying Low questline is out. I've covered all the missions for you, so let's begin. Well, 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 this mission is all about investigating what happened to Colvin Van Lowe, who disappeared to the supposedly cheap Squatch, and we will have to investigate many different areas until we get some answers. So let's start. To access the quest line you need to go to the Atomic Shop and then go to Featured and the last entry right now will be the Sheep Squatch Ate My Brother poster. You need to get it and then you need to place it in your camp. So once you unlock this poster don't forget to head to your camp and to open the crafting menu to actually find the poster and put it in your house of course. You need to go to wall decor it's one of the last options and then you will find it in the poster option. Uh, my first option there is the brewing a poster. They pretty much use the same system as the previous quest line. Anyway, once you post this, you will get the mission. And you can also get it by visiting Lewisburg at the train station. There are posts everywhere, so you can just read one and the mission will begin. The first step here is to go to Lewisburg, where you can find the Valo taxidermy shop or storehouse. It has several floors and a lot of things inside, so just get in and we will get started with the clues. Yes, because as I mentioned before, it's all about investigating. Now you need to get the holotape from the box just in front, it's right here, and play the tape for an update. While you get introduced to the entire story here, you can look for clues and by clicking this button here in the counter you will open the glass just in front where are two clues inside but you don't really have to do this it's optional so you can just rush to uh, his office it's upstairs but i decided to just collect a few clues just to get a bit more familiar with the quest line and the lore i like it not too much sometimes it's a bit extensive and tedious but in this case i haven't done a mission like this in a long while so i was exploring things uh for this terminal you can just skip because there's nothing much there for the quest line it's only lore and another clue is right here at the kitchen a counter and it's a clue to the password so it kind of hints that it's in the basement. Anyway, if you read all of these lore things, you will get many other hints and clues on how to do the quest line better. And it was quite easy for me because I was reading a lot of things. Of course, I'm not going to show you in this walkthrough, otherwise it will be like an hour at least. But that's just a few details for you. Okay, after entering his office, which is right here, you will get an update to search for a clues and this time you have to do it. Just search the terminal and the first option should be enough to trigger yet another update, which is about the security code. Thankfully, I read that letter in the kitchen which hinted it would be in the basement. So go all the way down through the stairs until you reach the basement and that's where you can find the password code. Also, do you remember the bone I got from the glass door at the very start? Yes, you also need to find a use for that. But don't worry, it's quite simple once you get here to the basement. You need to come close to this wolf head and then you can place the bone, which will open a secret vault with the password inside. Very clever, huh? It took me some seconds to find it. It was not straight away. So that's always a bonus when things are not that simple to do. 
I like some challenge or degree of difficulty. And now we have to head back to the office where we can now access the terminal, the first option, and then the last one in which you can download the coordinates for a new location and update on the mission. And that's it. Now we know where Calvin went next and the lying low is now completed. It's pretty quick and you also get a new quest called Baba Black Sheep. I think it's more like Baba, but there is no H. Anyway, we have this location here in the middle of nowhere. I went to my closest location and then I went uh, just a little bit north through the mountains and then I did a shortcut. I'm leaving all the path I did in case you come to a close location as mine and then you know how to get there. You basically have to come to the top of the mountains and then you just have to walk there because this location is also located in a very high place. It's up there. I thought it would be down, but then I looked again and I saw that it was right there. So I went a little bit back past this red truck. And then we need to go to the patch here, right here in the middle. And you'll find a letter here. And another useful thing inside this bag. And there's another one to my right, another letter. So there is plenty of things here, which we very much need for the mission. But right after the second note, you will get the mission update to head to a new location, which is right here at the corner of the map. And it took me a little bit to find it, so I had to backlay. And we need to find Saul's Grinder's building which is just ahead of these defense barriers. It's right here in the corner with this broken white door. Once you get in, you will get an update to get or find three clues. It's optional, but one of the clues will give you an update. So the first one is right here in this table. It's a hollow tape. And then you can go ahead a little bit and you will find a note in the corridor on top of a cigarette machine. And here you can also find some food if you are hungry. And the note is right here. With this one, we are only missing one more clue, which we need to trigger an update. So head upstairs and be careful with the crazy robot that looks like Biff. He hits quite hard, so I suggest to do not let him hit you. And you can ignore this terminal because we don't need it. And then you can access this terminal here behind me in this table. And you need to access the last option and then the last one again and view reply and don't load the coordinates yay and baba black sheep or should i say pa pa is now complete the missions are quite fast and that's why i'm merging all of the four in one video because otherwise I would have four videos with like five minutes or less. So now we have to go to Leonardsburg again and find the patrol car. It should be quite easy. Now, once you walk past it, they will mark it. it it's this car behind me. I just passed it, but I didn't know it was that one because there was no yellow uh, icon marking on it. But after I passed it, it appeared. Anyway, we need the holotape inside the bag and then a mission update will trigger, which asks you to check the house with the flamingo in the front. It's right here, quite straightforward. And you need to head to the back of the house where there is like a small 
a yard balcony and you can find a holotape near the body and another note here inside this cooler so you should collect them both in my case i forgot to play i misclicked i clicked take instead but that's okay you can just go to your inventory and play through there and here is the note then as i said you can read the second note it's optional but it gives you more hints on what to do next so it's pretty handy and as you can see it's another building in Lewisburg. you need to head a little bit to the middle and it's a building with a lot of stairs it's hard to miss it's right here near these machines printers you need to go all the way up through the stairs and then you will find a small shack with windows and you will find a note inside this bag which will hint you need to go back to the basement of the initial house it also mentions laundry day and the calendar so there's a lot of hints there and you should really pay attention to them because otherwise you will get fooled and you will lose a lot of time which kind of was my case going back to the other building is quite easy from here so you just need to go across the street pretty much as you can see and then go to the basement And the laundry tray is to your left. There is a letter from mom. She explains how to do your laundry, especially with delicate uh, clothes. And then you have two washing machines with programs. And I really thought it was like a puzzle, like you have to put it on low and then delicate clothes, but that's not the case. It's just there to fool you and to make you think it's actually related to this but it's not so ignore it and all you have to do here is click the goddamn calendar i spent like 10 minutes here reading the letter and trying combinations and nothing was working also a few guys came by and they were lost as well but then i figure out how to get into this secret uh room in here you need to search for signs of Colvin and the first optional clue is right here inside the stash and then you need to access the terminal to actually understand where Colvin went next all you have to do is select the behavioral uh, reprogramming option and then the last one and retrieve a session you will get a holotape in your inventory and it's called behavioral reprogramming just play it and a new update will kick in then access the terminal again to find out where wolf went next it's the second option and then it's the very last one as usual and unload coordinates for a new location and there you go the lowdown is now completed too and we're just missing one more mission to kind of finish the quest line. Okay, so there's a little more to do. I won't spoil it right now. But Wolf in Cheap's Clothing is the fourth mission. And we need to head to a new location. Now it's time to visit the south of the map to the Gaham Estate. But once you get there, you will need a card, and if you don't have one yet, you need to pick it up in the nearby mining building. So, here it is. I try to open the elevator door, and I get a new message telling me where to get the ID key, which is very handy because I had no idea otherwise I would have to search. And it's very close. It's in the mining headquarters. Actually, it's not a mine. My bad. So just go there and be careful with the Scorch. They are quite high level in here. And they will hurt you if you don't kill them. So it's better to take them down. 
if you want. Otherwise, you can just rush inside the building. And the ID car is at the very end of the building. So you have to go forward, straight forward, until you find this room with this big table and the ID card is right on top of it. Then you have to return to the estate where we were before and you can now open the elevator. You can go to the third floor because we need to go all the way to the top. Once you are inside, you will need to take several stairs to head to the very top of the building. And that's where you can find these terminal. And as usual, you need to access the last option, the one with the exclamation points and an update will trigger. Now you need to find and recover Wolf's cache and it's right here in this car. They mention it's in a wagon. You need to get close for the point uh, up here, the yellow one. And then you need to back a little bit until you can activate it. And there you go, Wealth in Sheep's Clothing is also completed. And with this one, we're done with the new quest line basically. There is another misc mission you can do, which will trigger an event. I will cover that in the next video. But that's going to be all for today's guide. I hope you enjoyed the lying low walkthrough I have prepared for you with all the missions that Bethesda has released a few hours ago. I am Marta Branco. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's very important to me. And that's going to be everything. See you in the next one. Bye bye.